Hey guys, welcome back to Men's Essentials channel. Um, Duke Cannon just made a new soap with a pine tar scent. Um, anytime Duke Cannon puts out a new product, it's a good day, so I'm pretty happy. I heard about this new soap because of the latest email they sent out. They mentioned um, the pine tar incident with George Brett from July 24th, 1983. Uh, George Brett was with the Kansas City Royals. Um, anyway, in this email, um, they talk about banned substances in baseball and other interesting things. Um, but any, I, I thought this was pretty cool because I actually lived in Kansas City for about 15 years. I'm a huge Royals fan, so anytime something related to the Royals is mentioned, um, I get pretty excited. So if you don't know what the pine tar incident with George Brett is, just go look it up on YouTube. <laughs> Um, so today's the 22nd, but the 24th is in two days, which is exactly 39 years since that incident. So I figured this would be a good time to make this video. Um, actually also guys, about a year ago, I made a video comparing Dr. Squatch's pine tar soap to Duke Cannon's fresh cut pine soap. Um, now maybe that one was not the best comparison or not the best Duke Cannon soap to use because it's not exactly a pine tar scented soap, but it was close enough at that time. Um, so what I want to say is I'm not going to directly compare this one to Dr. Squatch in this video because this video really is mainly about Duke Cannon's pine tar soap. But I am going to make some references to that Dr. Squatch pine tar soap because they're both actual pine tar scents, right? Um, before I jump into that though, guys, I just want to remind you that on this channel, I make videos about men's grooming products like these soaps, watches, sunglasses, just anything else that I consider to be a men's essential accessory. If that's something you're interested in, please hit that like button and subscribe, guys. I'm going to be uploading more videos like this, so please like and subscribe. All right, now this pine tar soap, the first thing obviously you'll notice with Duke Cannon is the arts on their packaging, right? Duke Cannon makes some of the best uh, packaging, some of the best boxes for their soaps. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why I tried their stuff in the first place. I love their all their art. So when you open the box, uh, you're going to notice the color of the soap. It's a very rich brown leathery color. Um, it appears that they tried to mimic the brown leather color of an old school baseball mitt. So I, that's pretty cool in my opinion. I think that's awesome. More of that baseball theme continuation there. Um, and of course you're going to notice the pine tar scent. Uh, now having tried the Dr. Squatch pine tar soap and having seen some comments about pine tar in general, it seems like pine tar soaps are just always very aggressive with that pine tar scent so you're definitely going to notice that with this duke cannon one um now just to bring up the dr squatch one real quick uh that one also had a very aggressive pine tar soap or pine tar smell um but i was looking at the ingredients and they dr squatch also mixes other scents into theirs like orange essential oil and a few other scents and I feel like that balanced out the soap a bit more. Even though the pine tar scent was aggressive, you could still smell a few other items in it. Duke Cannon, it looks like they did not do that. In the ingredients list, they mention pine tar and fragrance, but don't specify what other fragrances are used, if any at all. Um, so it seems like maybe pine tar is the only scent, which actually, it's still fine. This soap smells manly and very good but if i had to say one negative i wish they had put in a few other fragrances in there to balance out the soap a bit but again that's not really that big of a deal because pine tar smells really really good and it's you know manly um but really guys that's again not a problem performance wise this soap is actually really soft and i feel like it leaves my skin feeling a bit softer than normal um, the soap itself is not abrasive, um, and of course do Cannon soaps last a long time because of how big they make them. Now, I do have the tactical uh, scrubber made by Duke Cannon. I didn't use that with this one, 
um, just because I wanted to feel the soap directly on my skin just to see how it feels. The tactical scrubber is awesome, um, but I tried this one without that. But yeah, guys, like, um, I guess another thing, like the packaging says, it smells like 1880s baseball. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And actually, um, I do want to mention this. I was looking at the marketing email they sent out regarding the soap. In the email, they do say that this has scents of pine resin, ash wood, and of leather. It will have you reminiscing about a bygone era when pitchers threw for nine innings after four pools of whiskey in the dugout. So, ash wood and leather. I mean, I guess I do get some leather in there, but it's mostly pine tar, and I don't know what ash wood smells like. But now that I think about it, you do get some notes of leather when you smell it. So it's it's like leathery and pine tarry. But it's it's definitely good and manly. Very, very manly. If you I think you guys should try it, because this is a limited edition soap also. It's not gonna be around for very long. So definitely give this one a try, guys. I wanna hear what you think about this soap. If you have it and if you've tried it, please let me know. Leave some comments. But that's pretty much all I had to say about the soap, guys. I love it. Duke Cannon is awesome, like always. If you like this type of video, please like and subscribe, guys. I appreciate you stopping by Men's Essentials to watch this video. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.